Um, hello, everybody. Thank you for coming this afternoon. I'm calling the meeting to order for today's um, special license commission meeting on Tuesday, January 18th. Present this afternoon are myself, Natasha Yakovlev, and Commissioner Helen Kahn, and this meeting is being Zoom recorded. Is there anybody here for public comment? Seeing no public comment, we're going to move on to item number three. Public hearing on an application for a new all alcohol restaurant license pursuant to chapter 109 of the acts of 2016 for Rias Baixas LLC DBA Homestead at 57 Strong Avenue. Make a motion to open the public hearing. Um, is there anybody here for public comment for the public hearing portion of this conversation? Who's not Jeremy? Not seeing any. Hi, Jeremy. Hello, how is everyone? Good, how are you? You know, well, I wanna thank you for uh, taking the time out of your busy lives to have this this afternoon. I really appreciate it. Sure, it worked, seemed to get scheduled, so that's happy to do it. Appreciate um, it. For the matter for the record, can you just tell us who you are, what Homestead is, how long you've been in operation, things of that nature? Yeah, so uh, my name is Jeremy Werther. I'm the uh, new sole owner, uh, sole, sole proprietor of Rias Bikeshus LLC, uh, DBA Homestead. Um, we are uh, applying for this all alcohol license uh, to replace the existing all alcohol license held by the same LLC with a different DBA, um, which was acquired by Rias Bikeshus or transferred to respect. I'm not exactly sure exactly what happened circa 2016, um, but uh, we relinquished that license at the beginning of this month in the uh, hopes of uh, going through this new application process um, for Homestead, which has uh, been in operation, popped up at Ibiza's Tapas since 2017, uh, uh, providing rustic local uh, sourced food, um, high quality service, and uh, you know, high quality food and drink. Um, hoping to bring those drinks back uh, when we reopen the doors uh, for internal service, which we have been closed for uh, about three and a half weeks due to the Omicron variant and mm -hmm. staffing sickness, et cetera. So, uh, that's, that's my brief summary and overview. Okay, thank you. If I missed, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I think you covered it actually. I had to do my best. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Helen, do you have a, a question for Jeremy? I don't. <laughs> no? um, Annie, is it necessary for the record just to sort of state why we're having this public hearing or can we just go through the motions and go ahead with the the uh, regulations attached to it and the vote? Yeah, I mean, it's well documented. Okay. Um, so unless you feel the need, I think you're okay to move on. I don't feel the need. Um, has Jeremy seen the restrictions? He has not. Okay, so I'm going to read the restrictions, Jeremy, that are attached to the license. Okay. And when Helen and I take our vote, we're going to be voting both on issuing the license and on attaching these restrictions to them. Okay. And the, the, these restrictions really aren't anything different than what would have been attached to this license back when the two other restaurateurs ago. Okay. Um, but we need to attach them this time just so that this commission can be clear in what's being issued. And then if you sell your business, change your business, change your DBA, the license is gonna come back to the city. Um, so I will read this, these restrictions. This license was issued pursuant to a special act entitled an act authorizing the city of Northampton to grant additional licenses for the sale of all alcoholic beverages to be drunk on the premises. Chapter 109 of the acts of 2016, chapter 109. In accordance with chapter 109, this license is subject to the following conditions. One, this license is issued to Rias Baixas LLC only. Any transfer or attempt to transfer this license to an entity other than Rias Baixas LLC shall constitute a cessation of the licensed business. Upon cessation, this license shall be subject to cancellation and reissuance pursuant to MGL chapter 138, section 77 and chapter 109, section 1C. Two, this license is issued for the operation of the business known as Homestead. The operation of any business on the premises by any other name or style shall constitute a cessation of the licensed business. Upon cessation, this license shall be subject to cancellation and reissuance pursuant to 
Mass General Law, Chapter 138, Section 77, and Chapter 109, Section 1C. This license is issued subject to all other terms and conditions of Chapter 109. Any questions about that? All makes okay. sense. Okay, great. I appreciate that also being read into, uh, you know, into the record so that we don't have to. <laughs> have yeah. any so we don't have to do this again. Forward, yeah. This part, I, I think it's safe to say for Helen and I, we really looked forward to just cleaning this up and, and giving a fresh start, especially considering everything. Yeah, I, and I appreciate it. And I will, I will third that as well. <laughs> <Excellent>. Great. <laughs> Um, then I will make a motion to close the hearing so Helen and I can discuss. Second. Great. Um, Helen, do you have any concerns? No, I think we've been, you know, it's been a year, two, three, it feels like um, that we've been discussing this. So I think um, I'm, yeah, familiar with it and I don't have any concerns at this point. Nice. Neither do I. This is kind of fun. Um, then I will make a motion to approve the application for the new all alcohol restaurant license pursuant to chapter 109 of the acts of 2016 as outlined in this agenda item for Rias Baixas LLC DBA Homestead at 57 Strong Avenue. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you very much. Really appreciate um, it. Sure thing. <laughs> Onward. I hope things go well in your opening. Appreciate it. <laughs> Great. See ya. Yeah, have a good one. You too. All right. Moving on to agenda item number four, application for a new common victualler license for NoHo Social LLC, DBA, NoHo Social Coffee Shop, and Speakeasy at 261 King Street. And I know we have a couple people here, I believe. Would you like to start introducing yourselves? Hi. Yes, hi, I'm Tom Casper. I actually um, am the proprietor. Okay, thank you for coming. Certainly. I'm Pete Pusilowski, I'm their attorney. Hello, Pete, thank you for coming. Thank you. All right. And do we have a manager here? Maybe, is that the K? Hi, yeah, that's me. I am Kara. Hi, Kara. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, so I know we, we approved the transfer of the liquor license back when we did that. Um, and the proprietor and the manager weren't able to join us on that afternoon. So when we, we wanted to take the opportunity to just say hello again, hear a little bit more about your plans from your perspective as we issue the common eviction license to get you guys up and running 100%. Perfect, thank you. Um, Pete, were you gonna take it or Kara? Well, I uh, I haven't been involved in the Vitula's license, so probably not me. Yeah, I think if, if you just, yeah, one of, if Kara wants to let us know what the is up with business plans and such. Absolutely. Um, so as of right now, our business plan for NoHo Social is sort of a coffee shop by day and then moving over to a speakeasy in the evening. So um, things like just specialty coffee beverages and lattes, things like that in the morning with some pastry items. And then in the evening, we're going to do some small bites and appetizers as well as some specialty cocktails. Okay. And did you establish your hours yet? Because I, I remember at our last meeting there we were there was a little bit of I left a little confused as to what the hours were going to be. Um, right now we're looking at hours from eight to two on the coffee shop side, and then yep. from two to around ten p.m. Okay. Great, Helen. Do you have any questions or comments? Yeah, and when are you looking to open? I don't know if that was in the paperwork? Uh, yeah, so we're looking to have a soft opening around the first or second week of February. Um, we're still waiting for some of our things to come in with COVID and everything. We have some delays on shipping, um, but that's what we're looking for, for a soft opening. And then the hard opening would probably be later in February. All right. Um, anything else, Helen? Uh, no, I think it's pretty straightforward. Okay. And do you folks have anything else that you would like to add or want us to know? It's okay if there isn't anything. <laughs> that's everything for me. Okay, great. Yeah, that's um, it. 
Helen, do you want to make the motion for this one? Uh, sure, I'll make, uh, make a motion to approve the application for a new common victual license at NoHo Social, LLC, DBA, NoHo Social Coffee Shop, and Speak Easy at 261 King Street. I'll second the motion. And Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Thank you. Great. All right. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank yeah, you. Appreciate you coming. Thanks. You bet. Okay, moving on to agenda item. Thank you, Annie. Sorry, I'm, I jumped. I, I I couldn't unmute fast enough to thank you guys. Thanks, Annie. I okay. Always appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, number five: application for a new common victualler license for Trifecta LLC DBA Pokemoto at 18 Main Street. It's always exciting to have a new restaurant coming. Mm -hmm. yes. Hello, everyone. Hi. Could you introduce yourself for the record? Sure thing, R.J. Schmidt. Thank you for coming. Um, so tell us about your plans. All right. So I am one of three partners, one being my wife and uh, the other being a, a service buddy of mine. And uh, he actually helped build the what is now a franchise, 20 locations. He actually helped develop the menu and the sauces. Uh, so far, we see that the franchise is successful. They have 20 locations. Uh, I believe 14 are in New England specifically. And this location in Northampton is going to be the 21st. Um, it's fast casual, sushi-based, but um, styled after Hawaiian-style poke. Uh, we are adding not so not just poke. If you, if you like sushi, I haven't found anyone who who doesn't like sushi right. that doesn't like poke. So if you like sushi, you'll like poke. Uh, additionally, we are adding two other concepts. Uh, salad craft is the second concept and it's uh, for those that want more vegetarian or vegan style uh, salad options and salad and protein options. And the third concept we're adding is uh, whole fruit uh, poke with iced teas and iced coffees. So the if, if anybody is interested, I can share the, the menu, the online address for the menu. And um, the operating hours that, that are common with the other Massachusetts locations, I believe are from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. So um, I don't know what other information to provide for you, but you're, we no, have, you're, uh, you're giving okay. us everything we need. <laughs> and, and is that seven days a week, the 11 to 9? That is correct. Uh, well, excuse me. Uh, if we follow the format of the other locations, it's Monday through Saturday from 11 to 9 p.m., 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., and on Sunday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay. And when do you hope to open your doors? If everything goes well following this meeting, I'll be contacting our contractor, and hopefully he can begin by the end of the month. And okay. then we estimate uh, February build out and training should be complete by February, by the end of March. So hopefully we can open by the end of March, no later than the beginning of April. Great. And then hopefully we, we're on the other side of this surge. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We hope so too. And entering spring. Great. Um, I don't have further questions. Do you, Helen? I don't. No. Great. Then. Um, Unless you have anything else to add, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll make a motion to approve the application for a new common Vixor license for Trifecta LLC DBA Pokemoto at 18 Main Street. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you for coming and good luck. Thank you very much. I appreciate yes. you holding a subsequent meeting to the initial one this month. Of course. No. Thank you very much, Annie. We're happy to have you in Northampton. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. You too. Um, Annie, I'm looking at the clock and I see it's 316. Yes, actually, dad showed up. So he, oh, was, okay, able, great. he was able to get her from the bus. Okay, thing. Super. Thank you. Um, is there any new business for our special meeting? I don't have anything. Okay thing, then I will very happily make a motion to adjourn this meeting. So